And this guy's been on the cards for a long, long time. It's yeah. Frederick Alves. Um, uh, honestly, mate, this, this rumour has been going around, but it seems pretty concrete. Um, let me know your initial thoughts on him, because I know you've done a little bit of homework, obviously, with the stats there, but... Yeah. What type of player could West Ham be getting? What type of price are we looking at? You know, would he fit West Ham system? Yeah, I think in the future he would. I think he's a modern day centre back. He's he's a ball playing centre back as well as you know as the uh, viewers will see in the graphics in a minute. He's more, you know, he's um, it's obviously he's got twelve. Uh, sorry, mate, he's got fifty nine passes per ninety this season. Which it, them rankings, by the way, are in are in the league, so not not in his squad. Um, oh, okay. So if his defenders so sick, and he's only he's only twenty one years old. He's featured for Denmark's under twenty ones. Um, he's got a lot of potential, and he's you know he's one of them where he'll spray long balls, um, and he's very good at doing that. He's a ball playing centre back, um, and for the price that's rumoured rumoured to be getting in forts and they'll him again, and he's someone who we can develop. Uh, and then starts you know thirteenth from the league for to, uh, recoveries. You know twelve point twelve per ninety is is impressive. Um, he's got a good physique on him as well. So, he, again, he's one we can develop and um, and hopefully see the best in a few years to come. Do you know what? I, I was really impressed with, with what I've seen of him and the distribution element of it as well was quality. And I think we don't really get that from our centre-backs. I know Valbuena has had it in the past, and but not generally a guy that can switch a ball. We don't have a, a switch outlet and that's why Creswell's been so effective this season because we do have someone from a centre-back position that can play that type of delivery. If you can get another player in there where West Ham can beat the press that we obviously saw last night and do it very, very quickly, it's another avenue, isn't it? It's another chance for West Ham to try and attack teams from. Exactly. You know, in terms of transition, it's different. It's, you know, it's a variable in it, you know, because like you said, which is a good point, Ogbonna, you know, doesn't really have it in his game. Um, Balbuena did in glimpses last season. Um and then you look to Diop, who doesn't really have it in his game, but he's still young. He's still the same age, obviously. So having having that versatility, mate, again, is key. That's why teams like you know Man City, Liverpool are so good in transition because they have players like Van Dijk, Laporte, who can spray balls 45, 50 yards, and suddenly they're yeah. on the counter and they throw on goal. Um, Alves is is one of them. I, I'm, I'm, I need to be careful, mate, with my comparisons here. Uh, I'm not going to compare him to Laporte, don't worry. But, you know, <laughs> but Alves is is someone who um, can add versatility and, and, and give you something different. Uh, with yeah. them, as well, they're, you know, they're obviously very impressive. Um, and he's got a good eye for a pass. He's, you know, he's comfortable with his interceptions as well. He's good defensively. Um, so I think he's, you know, in terms of having a project there for him, it's, it's, it, it's you know, a no-brainer for me. To be fair, I, I think it's not even really a criticism of him because obviously you've seen the recoveries that are, are really impressive, but... He is aggressive trying to win that tackle and I always panic. You know, we see even with Balbuena last night at times, he was a little bit aggressive. He always is trying to win that ball and if you lose it, it becomes problematic. So it is encouraging in one aspect that he has shown that recovery aspect to him. But also the fact I think that in a back three, he could suit as well. You know, I think he plays a back two for, for his current side. You know, in a back three, you've got that solidity. You've got Rice and Suchek in front of him. So, I mean, it could give him the opportunity to actually come out from the back, use his passing and, and be effective for a West Ham side. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, you need options, mate, don't you? Because, you know, again, if Balbuena gets injured or, you know, two of them, you, you know, you look at our squad and you think, you know, we don't really have a backup by Diop. Um, so Craig Dalton? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you yeah, yeah, don't worry about him. <laughs> you've always got to be um, forward thinking, mate, nowadays in football. Yeah, yeah. You've plan for the worst kind of thing. Um you know, when you look at Liverpool this season, they've kind of been shafted, haven't they, with, with Van Dijk being out. Um, they've put Fabinho back there, who can slot there nicely, but that's an example of where things can go wrong. Um, so, I think, I think he's a good project, mate, definitely. Let's have a look at some of the stats, mate. Let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the graphs. Let's start with recoveries, because I've touched on it briefly. Yeah. Enlighten us, mate. This is some impressive stats from a, from a young defender. Yeah, it looks scary that graph, doesn't it? Um, yeah, a bit, yeah. Talk about aggressive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, there's a lot there, but um, obviously it's highlighted there in the different colour codes. Um, I think what what impresses me the most here, mate, is because um, obviously his interceptions in his position, and you can see he's a right sided defender. That's there mm. to see. Uh, but you know, it's, even in key areas, you know, in his own box and penalty area, he's made he's made key interceptions. 
uh, and his you know sliding tackles obviously too. There's only two of them to be fair, but that does show what a, what a good player he can be, what a good defender he is. Um, he even gets high up the pitch sometimes as well. Um, he's quite progressive, so I think you, you know the interceptions for me, mate, really stand out as. You know, he's got the game intelligence, which is very important too. Um, to have that positional sense in a centre back is probably the main asset to just you know set you out from being a good centre back and and uh, not as successful. So I think you know that's obviously very impressive, and and we hope he can bring it to the Premier League. Yeah, I just you know I'm sort of looking at it now that they counter press as well. I think that's the, that's something you know. I think West Ham. Are showing it a little bit more in that back three, you know, that ability to press that that defence up because it does hurt us. Obviously, we've discussed Alaire. If we drop back too much, he drops back too much. West Ham can't really get out our own half. We saw that against Crystal Palace, and having a player that, that's mobile enough to get forward as well um, clearly reads the game well. You know, picking out interceptions here and there. We need a player like that, an intelligent defender that can press up. And I think it, it looks really positive, mate. If I'm honest, long term, you know, if we. I think we'll settle on this wing back system eventually, and I think if we've got yeah. a player that, that suits it more, because I think I just worry about Diop, you know, and and his positioning for that Palace game, and and I just think that's so crucial in a modern game. Yeah, no, it is, isn't it? It's um, I don't. You can't leave someone of you know Benteke's heading ability uh, that space to run in, run in, and and head in yeah. the goal. Um, you simply can't, mate. You know, it's. Um, Diop, it, Diop's got a lot to learn for me. Yeah. I think the potential is there, but for me, I've highlighted a few times, he can be very rash. He can step up above the defensive line and almost try and intercept the ball high up the pitch to get the ball back for us. But instead, he leaves a gap in, in behind for, for them to expose. That's where he's almost too keen as a player for me. Um, and I don't know if that's that's his age or what, but... Um, I don't know if you agree, mate, but I think I just think he's got a lot, a lot to learn. Diop, and I don't know if I rate him yet. I don't know if he's there yet. I think it's him in possession that frightens me. That's the only thing I've always said this with him. You know, I think we were having nightmares. We were talking about the Brighton game on the stream the other day, and that was the game clearly where him in possession and his positioning really hurt us in terms of conceding those goals against Palace as well. I felt that the problem is we having someone like Diop, particularly when we drop back and he's not comfortable in possession, is. Declan Rice is dropping in to almost like make a back three to support him. And again, it takes away from our overall play. We need players in the side that we can rely on positionally. And I think Balbuena and Ogbonna in a, in a back four, albeit only for a few games, have done very well um, yeah. and worked together very well. And, and the positioning, you know, not just from defending the Benteke, you know, delivery into the box, but at times Zaha was getting past him, he was getting pulled out of position. Palace aren't a progressive side. They won't play with a 10 or someone that can make deep runs. You look at Chelsea, if Diop's playing and we're playing like that, Timo Werner thrives on deep runs. And I'm not sure Diop, Diop needs to fix his position when we're in a low block. I mean, when we play a bit higher, I thought he looked more comfortable against Palace. But again, I, he's still right. He's still quite raw. There are still elements of his play that I think, yes, you are a good defender physically. There's a yeah, bit yeah. of hate about him, but some things are still missing for me, mate. Yeah, I, I, I think Diop was... In his first season under Pellegrini, very impressive. One of our best players for most of it. You know, like you said, he's mm. just got a lot of raw, raw attributes that he needs to improve on and that he's, he's, he's got a lot to learn. But we're forgetting that he's only, what, 21, 22 at the, at the same time. So, you know, if you think of a player's primes in the 26, 27 age, then, you know, Diop's got a lot of, a lot of potential. So maybe it's worth keeping hold of him. But Alves, again, you know, like you said, he's... He offers something different uh, to our centre backs now, which is why we're probably looking at him. And, and again, he's a project, uh, which is important. So hopefully we can uh, get it done. Yeah, if I want to frighten people a little bit more, let's talk about ball progression. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, look at, mate, he's trying to explain this for, for a centre back. I mean, he really, really does enjoy getting the ball and, and well, simply progressing, <laughs> either trying to switch it or trying to make runs. Yeah, he loves it, doesn't he? Um, I don't. I actually don't think there's any runs in there. I can't oh. see any. Um, but you know, no, fair. Yeah. That's all right. I feel calm now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's an eyesore. But you know, it's, it's self-explanatory from the point that you know it highlights how good he is at obviously progressing the ball uh, with his with his passes. You know, he looks to either flank. Say, you know, if he was in our team, he'd look for the runs of Masuaku or Ben Rama or even Bowen on the right side, um, even through the middle as well, mate. You know that. That killer instinct pass that he 
has clearly got in his locker. He's comfortable with the ball, which again, Ogbonna and Balbuena aren't as much. And um, you know, to be to be a good team, and you know, obviously the the bigger teams like Liverpool, they have players like that who can progress with the ball and are comfortable moving out with the feet. Um, and Alves has got that in abundance. So hopefully, um, you know, we can get it done again, and and he can be a good part of the team because he's he's clearly got the ability. Yeah, definitely. Like we do, we do miss someone that's good with the ball. No, not just in terms of the touch, but in, in in progression and passing. And like you said, modern day teams now have that that guy that can that can make that pass into midfield or the switch. I mean, for Liverpool, it's huge the switch pass. I know it is from Trent, and and it's a little bit different. But certainly from a centre back, you know, in a back three, maybe you'll find himself a little bit more on that right hand side. Feel comfortable to come out with the ball. Um, it looks exciting, mate. I've got to be honest. I'm excited about Alves if we do sign him. Whether or not he'll, how often he'll play for West Ham is a different question. Um, you would worry that is he realistically going to get game time over Diop Balbuena or Bonner? Probably not. Um, it might be worth trying to sign him if he is so highly rated and putting him out on loan again and just ensuring that he gets that experience. Yeah, again, we need to be careful because we signed Cardoso a few years ago thinking he'd be all that, didn't we? Under, under was it under Pellegrini? Um, it was mate, it was. You know, when players Alves. Could easily not make it, you know. We've hyped him up, and he and he could just, you know, in a few years be nothing. Um, hmm. But at the same time, you know, I don't have any complaints at all about signing players like this because it's a project and it's something to work on. They've got potential. The resale value in a few years would be through the roof because obviously we're paying less than a mil for him. I imagine. Um, yeah, I, I think he'd slot into the twenty threes, mate, to, to begin with, probably. Um, and then they'd, they'd watch him closely, and if he, you know, obviously gets a chance in the cup, they might, you know, like him or send him out on loan to develop him further. But yeah, it, it, I haven't got any qualms about signings like that because it, it, it's good to have, mate. It's fresh. It's competition. He'll be young and hungry to ready to prove something in the Premier League. He's obviously got potential because it, the deal's been done for a while now, hasn't it, apparently? So, um, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that <laughs> make me feel that definitely changed this video. Well, some West Ham, there you go. <laughs> this yeah, is what we're getting. Yeah, put him in the back four 